In this video, we're going to focus on how we can get the x and y coordinates on mouse move. As you can see here, as I move my mouse, we get here all of these coordinates on the x and y. Well, this might not be very useful as a standalone, but if you connect this with a lot of functionalities, this will become very, very powerful. So let's start to explore how to get the mouse on hover or mouse move coordinates in ChartJS. So the first thing what we need is we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started this specific link, which you can also find in the description box. And scroll down and just copy the default code. Let's copy this entire code here. Once we did this, I will just paste this all in here and I will cut out this title here and put it in there. Once I did that, save that and then refresh. And by the way, if you want to understand what this code does here, make sure you watch this video here. So now we have a bar chart, but what I want to do now is when we hover over, I want to get the coordinates. And this is very useful because once you have the coordinates, you can do a lot more. So let's start to explore how to do this. First of all, I need to scroll down all to the bottom here and I'll just put in multiple enters. So we have some space here and let's start to work on here. So what I want to do here first is to create a function and this function will be our starting point that will be triggered the moment we hover over the canvas and more specifically because what we can say here on hover is not the right term because what we want to do is to move within the canvas because hover would mean if you hover over this entire part it's always one value which is yes it's correct it is hovering but when we move away from the canvas at that moment we are not hovering so we don't want hover then we want mouse move then we move our mouse cursor and then we get the coordinates the x and y coordinates consistently so what i'm going to do here first of all let's create a function here and let's call this the proper name would be the mouse move handler basically it's a function that will be triggered the moment we move our mouse or our cursor so the next thing what i want to do here is i want to make sure that the canvas itself starts to recognize the trigger the moment we hover over the item or not, not even hovering but we mouse move over the canvas somewhere. So let's start to do that. So the first thing what I want is, I want to say here my chart, because I want to pinpoint exactly the item. And that's not only my chart, because this will not only trigger the element of ID, but also the, the, the configuration and everything else matching with them. So it's a whole object. So I want to get more specific. So what I want here is my chart dot canvas, because I want to pinpoint the canvas with eventually this specific ID name, which is this canvas here. Once I did this, I'm going to say here dot, and I'm going to, uh, to add up here a event listener. So we say add event listener, and this basically says the following. You want to add on the canvas a event trigger so that the moment it listens, or basically it, it tracks a event, what event exactly, we're going to specify that, event of mouse move. So the moment we have a mouse move, we want to track that and do something. What exactly we will do? Well, first of all, we're going to say here for the event, the E, and then this will trigger a function, and the function name is, you guessed it, is the mouse move handler. So basically, that's what we're doing. So here's semicolon, semicolon here, and then what I want to do here is, first of all right now, a console log. And this console log will say mouse Ooh. save that refresh open the developer tab and you can see here now the moment we move it will trigger immediately as you can see here so this works of course what we want here is not only this static details we want the x and y coordinates for that we need to get here some arguments which will be here inserted as a parameter so this is the argument here and what is the argument basically the canvas here or this my chart constant and we will later on pinpoint exactly the canvas so don't worry about that and then what i want to do here as well is comma we're going to say here the e for the event or the element that we're hovering on so basically this is the event so we're going to say here chart comma and here can be the event of mouse move so once we have this we can just copy this now you will see this basically is again the entire object so if I hover over it, you can see here we get the entire object of the canvas here with everything which you can imagine. But what we need, again, is the canvas here. So if I search for this one, that's this one here. Oh, 
let's go back you can see the moment I click on it it will jump immediately to that specific element but you can see here dot canvas is the one we need to pinpoint exactly this canvas with the chart ID of or the ID name of my chart so what we can say here the following and basically we have two options I realize what we could do here is very simple we're going to say constant let's do a object destructuring of canvas equals chart which is that that's one way or what would be the other way would be a dot canvas then we could just remove this and then chart would be the canvas or maybe we could even name this and canvas however I will do it like this because I like to show you the object destructuring because you can see here there are still more items because probably you're not only going to use it like this because this functionality is just one part of it but you'll be using it for more things or you'll connect some other items with this because this is just the starting point of your function so what I want to do next here is I'm going to say here constant and this constant will be the rectangle or you should all call the rectangle and what I really want here is getting the x and y coordinates to get the x and y coordinates we need to calculate basically how uh, how far this canvas is from the side here and from the top here this is important so let me show you why if we go here and we just do a console dot log we do a mouse move mouse move save that and if i refresh now you'll see here if i click on this we get here the x and y client or these coordinates here and basically here the client x and y client letter c which is identical here 278 you can see here 278 and 531 so this here is one part of it however what it really has is there is like a space between and what we want to do is calculate how much is this space between here and here up so that's what we're going to do now because once we did that then we, we can start to calculate the exact coordinate of our point here so to do this I need to use here another constant and then we're going to say here on the canvas because we want to grab here a canvas which is basically from this and we're going to use a command here which is get bounding client rectangle and basically what this does is we'll calculate the canvas and its position relative to the upper part and the left side as you can see here if I click on this you can see this is really the starting point on the left side but it might be here maybe 50 pixels or 35 pixels difference and here from here to there will be probably about 200 pixels so let's start to get that first so we have this one now and then with this rectangle bounding we'll get bounding client if I do now console log and we say here rectangle save that refresh open developer tab move and then we have here the dom item you can see here the left side so apparently this space here is approximately 37.5 pixels or to be exact 37.5 the top here is almost 200 pixels so that's what we need to divide it or not even divide deduct from the position here so let's start to do that one so what I want to do here now is constant x equals we're going to say the mouse move dot client uh, x which we had in the mouse move item here minus eventually the rectangle or the rec dot left why dot left because it's this space here so that's that one we are grabbing to calculate the space difference here once we did that, we can do another one here. I'm going to copy this. Do exactly the same, except here will be Y. And then this will be not left, but top. Because it's the vertical level, which is this part here. And this, of course, will be Y. So once we did this, I can remove all these console logs here. We don't need those. And then what I will do here is a console log here. For the x and let's uh, concatenate some text we're going to say here uh, the x coordinates or x coordinates will be this and we have to maybe we could have a plus here or yeah that's a plus that's for JavaScript 
and we do the same here but then for the y coordinates a y coordinate so if I save this refresh if I hover on here you can see here now we get the x and y and we should if we go all here we're going lower and lower and then eventually you get here somewhere should be 0, 0.0 but if you look very carefully you saw somewhere here a negative of 0 0.5 which is a very tiny margin of error or error margin which is quite acceptable it's just a half pixel to sometimes it's one pixel one and a half pixel difference which is acceptable because this here is the starting point if we go down here we should get here the starting point that should be here somewhere there we are it should be the starting point and you can see exactly that this is it and that's basically it and this is basically how you can get the x and y coordinates here on Hoover. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe instead of a mouse move you would like to know how to get the, the coordinates based on the mouse click in that case i highly recommend you to watch this video here it shows you how to do that